and it gives just a real different sort of opinion to it. Opinion? That's not the right word. Just gives a different vibe. <laughs> wicked, wicked. What's going on guys? My name's Shed Dobre and if you're new here, please consider liking and or subscribing if you enjoy the content. Today we're talking about drone shots to take your videos to the next level. Before we do, my music suggestion of the day is Blue Shift. Uh, I've had them on absolute repeat lately. And I mean like repeat all day, they're so sick. So, number one. So the first few shots we're gonna be talking about today are establishing shots. There are ways to reveal a new scenery, break up a video, move from location to location, and it's more of a, an overviewing shot of everything that's gonna come in the following sense. So the first shot that I'm gonna be throwing out today is the look up reveal. Now this is a very simple one and it works really effectively if you're flying across a body of water, be it the ocean or a lake or a river or something like that. Obviously it doesn't have to be that, you can work with whatever scenery you're in. This is just the way I kind of imagine it in my head when I'm thinking about videos. So basically you're gonna start with a gimbal pointed down and you're gonna to fly toward your subject and you're gonna pan that gimbal up and reveal your scenery. Could you imagine flying across the Hudson River and looking up and seeing New York City there or the beach and seeing, you know, Miami Beach or something like that, whatever your situation might be. It's a really cool way to kind of show the grandeur of the place. So when you're trying to pull this shot off, you need to be very aware of the altitude of your drone. And don't just get caught up in looking at the shot on your phone going, this is really good cinematic because you don't want to crash your drone. When a drone's hovering like this and the blades are spinning, the drone is pushing air straight down, which is raising the drone up. Pretty simple. When you're going forward, the drone's actually going to be on an angle like this. And that means the air is getting pushed out this way. So that means naturally you're going to lose a bit of altitude because it's going to be pushing the drone like that. So with this one, you need to be going straight, but you also need to be keeping an eye on your altitude level and every so often just kind of slowly increase the altitude so you're not going to dip into the water. It's a very easy way to lose a drone if you're flying too close and you just think, I'll just punch it forward because you might punch it forward straight into the water. So this next one is also a revealing shot. Basically, all you need to do is find your scenery and find something that can be in the foreground. Most commonly, probably gonna be like a tree, whether it's your car, a house, or something like that. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is rise up over it and move forward. And then you're gonna have that foreground element go down and then reveal the background and then you fly through it and then you can you know, show what it's all about. These two shots are really good for setting the scene and just kind of showing the general environment. I'm gonna save my favorite ones for last, but these next two are super, super simple. Anyone can do it. You don't have to be good at flying a drone at all. Especially DJI drones are so simple to fly in these days. They kind of do it for you with all their smart modes and all that, but these are all manual modes we're talking about. The first one is just a straight fly. No gimbal movement, just moving straight.
This can always be effective if used correctly. I like to do it if I'm low enough to a certain subject that you get that movement and then what you can also do in post, of course, is if you have a Mavic 2 zoom, you can do it in the drone, but that dolly zoom where you can crop in or crop out that digital zoom, and that's really effective if you're somewhat close to treetops or a vineyard or whatever it might be, so you kind of get that sense of how fast you're moving and all that scenery is coming toward you. The next one, which is also just as simple, is a straight down shot. Now the straight down shot is really good if you're a boating or a car, a windy road or something like that, where you can kind of give off a cool geometric pattern, whether it's some pine trees going straight up and the road's winding through it, and just kind of give like a real unique perspective, a real bird's eye view if you will. Super simple, and if applied correct, you can get some wicked shots. So another shot you can throw in there to spice it up is a straight down spiral. This one's very simple if you're camping and you've got a tent or a house that you want to show off, just a different angle so it's not all the same sort of looking shots. Just go directly above it, face that gimbal straight down, and just descend in a slow spiral. And it gives just a real different sort of opinion to it. Opinion? That's not the right word. Just gives a different vibe. <laughs> All right, these next two shots might be my favorite shots. They're quite easy to do, but they do take a little bit of practice. Basically, what you're gonna wanna do is fly toward a rise in a hill, whether it's a little cliff face with a house on top or a tree or a white house or something like that. So you're gonna fly up and over that. But as you go over it, your point of interest, that white house or whatever it is, you're gonna tilt your drone down to track that in the dead center of the frame the whole time. And it gives this really weird parallaxing kind of effect because you're moving up, you're moving forward, but that object is staying in the dead center the whole time. It's a really, really effective way to just kind of add a new perspective into your video. And it's when you can add these like harder moves that people go, whoa, like what was that? Because we're used to seeing drone footage in our videos these days and some of the shots can be a little bit boring, a little bit stagnant. If you're just 120 meters in the air going, you know, 20 Ks an hour and you can't really tell that you're moving. It's like, oh, it's a bird in the sky. But these shots really go, whoa, like this guy knows what he's doing and they're really putting the effort in. So take note, take practice and uh, get better at these ones. So for the last one, we're going to be flying backwards, gimbal pointing down, and we're going to raise up, ideally keeping something somewhat in the center of frame to give that parallax feel. shots can actually be reversed to give you a little bit of, a little bit of extra spice a little bit of a whatever that is a little bit of extra to really create that that wow factor for your video and when I say reverse I don't mean reverse it in post I mean repeat the movement in the reverse order so if one is to be going up and tilting up let's tilt down as we decrease our altitude it's things like this that can really make your videos pop and you can double your arsenal of moves so remember, if we get closer to objects, we're gonna get that real nice motion blur. We are gonna be at more risk of losing our drone, but it's gonna get us the sickest videos possible. So be careful when flying, but remember, closer is key. Key? I don't know. Closer is key. So these are some basic drone shots and some little bit more advanced ones that are all in all not too hard to do. And with a little bit of practice, you should be able to get out there flying and flying very confidently at that. If there's any other drone tutorials you'd like, make sure you let me know down in the comments. I'd uh, love to see if I can get cracking on those for you. Get. Make sure to tag me on Instagram, at Jadobre, with anything that you try. I'd love to see what you guys are getting up to. And with all that said and done, we are out. My name's Jed Dobre. Thanks for watching. Give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe, yada yada. Bye bye bye.
Thank you.